I'm Yasmin Anand with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. In a message marking World Press Freedom Day, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed congratulations to the press and media personnel and reaffirmed his appreciation for their huge efforts since the launching of His Majesty the King's Reform Project. He affirmed that press and media freedom is one of the basic cornerstones of the Democratic Reform Project. He expressed keenness to support the freedom of press and media since the launching of the National Action Charter, aiming to achieve the best interests for the kingdom and its citizens. His Majesty loaded the crucial role played by the national press throughout its long and honorable history and cited directives to promote housing projects for journalists and media personnel directing the relevant sides to expedite the implementation of the project in order to ensure stability and comfort for journalists. His Majesty then called on regional and international media to unify stances, adhere to the professional principles and ethical values of media freedom, in addition for more efforts regarding spreading the values of peace, tolerance and moderation, and to combat terrorism and extremism. He urged the press to take advantage of its its highly important role in fostering tolerance, respect and freedom of religion and belief, in addition to supporting the democratic reform and sustainable development and to participate in maintaining the kingdom's security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, met at Gudaybiyah Palace today. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed regional updates and required cooperation to deal with economic and security challenges imposed by international developments. The Royal Highnesses highlighted the role of His Majesty the King in enhancing cooperation with other countries, stressing that senior visits to Bahrain reflect the advanced status of the kingdom and the world's appreciation to its balanced policies.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudaybeya Palace in presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier. The cabinet hailed the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Egypt, which reflects Bahrain's Arab and regional stances and support. The cabinet loaded the discussions and the agreement signed between the two countries, which affirms the government's keenness to strengthen bilateral cooperation in all fields. The meeting then discussed a report on the industry, commerce and tourism minister visit. The cabinet then praised the positive outcomes of the Moroccan monarch's visit, stressing that the agreement signed between the two countries affirmed both sides' keenness to enhance brotherly cooperation. The meeting highlighted the variety of urban and real estate projects in Bahrain which provide investment opportunities, especially after the Gulf Property Show 2016 held under the patronage of the Prime Minister. The Cabinet affirmed the importance of such events and its role in contributing to the progress of Bahrain. On the occasion of World Press Freedom Day, the Cabinet appreciated the role of the national press in protecting the country's issues and achievements and faced all misleading media that aimed to foil Bahrain's achievements. The meeting condemned the violation of all humanitarian laws that targeted civilians in Syria, resulting in the death of hundreds of innocent people, stressing the need to provide protection and aid to the people in need. The Prime Minister directed to follow up on all matters concerning citizens and on completing government services. He also directed to complete the delayed projects in Muharraq and the distribution of housing units in Damastan and nearby villages. His Royal Highness then highlighted his visit today to the Representative Council, expressing pride at the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities, stressing the importance of further communication. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. The Cabinet approved a draft law regarding the approval of the transfer of sentence press persons between the Government of Bahrain and of India and referred it to the Legislative Authority for further study. The Cabinet approved the restructuring of the e-government in line with the Government's vision of reducing government expenditure. It referred a memorandum of the Minister of Interior to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs regarding a friendship agreement between Manama and Wuhan City in China. The Cabinet followed up the implementation of new roads, sanitation networks and construction projects during the first quarter of 2016. They also discussed developing the STEP program for domestic projects. The Cabinet discussed a suggestion regarding reviewing the reports of the Education and Training Institution and then discussed four suggestions of the Representative Council. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister paid a visit today to the Council of Representatives where he met with Council Speaker Ahmed Al-Mullah, the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al-Salah, deputies to the Speakers and members of both Councils. His Royal Highness thanked the members of the Council of Representatives for their cooperation with the government and for their sense of responsibility which contributed to serving public interests and achieving desired goals. He also lauded the remarkable achievements of the Representative and Shura Councils through responsible democratic practices. He called on cementing cohesion and harmony in confronting challenges and boost efforts to better serve the nation and foil attempts by conspirators aimed to undermine Bahrain's democracy and exploit differences of opening to divert from important national issues. He also stressed that the government will pursue its good endeavours to strengthen the solid structure of cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and upgrade cooperation mainly under present circumstances faced by the world and affecting the country, thus making it high time to cement unity and exert all efforts that contribute to taking the nations to safety. The Prime Minister said that the present stage requires high degrees of alertness by all and avoid acts that may break up efforts and tear up unity of word and stance. He called to place the higher interest of Bahrain above every other interest and to join forces to help joint parliamentary desire success for the progress of the Kingdom and the citizens and make the coming phase full of accomplishments under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, meanwhile, underlined the keenness of the Prime Minister to support the democratic process launched under the reform project of His Majesty the King. He also praised the Prime Minister's wise approach in dealing with issues of interest to the country and the citizens and his good efforts to enhance the relation with the legislative authority.
Marking World Press Freedom Day tomorrow, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, affirmed that the national press in Bahrain has always been a free platform for expressing opinions and views and has always been an effective partner in preserving national gains and accomplishments. This year's theme is access to information and fundamental freedoms. This is your right. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of the noble profession of journalism to contribute more to serve the society by adhering to press ethics based on honesty and objectivity. He said Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty, is enjoying freedom of expression and opinion, ensured by the law and constitution, which strengthens social cohesion and preserves the security and stability of the society, in addition to preserving the rights of the people and institutions. He said, in light of the ongoing challenges, the press should reinforce the value of national belonging and contribute in the development of the country, highlighting Bahrain's political, economic, cultural and humanitarian development in a free and open atmosphere. The Prime Minister expressed pride in stanzas of Bahraini journalists and media personnel who always defend and show their love and loyalty to the country. And now we turn to business news with you, Danielle. Thanks very much, Yasmina. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. Aluminium Bahrain, Alba, has reported an 88.6% fall in first quarter net profit as a result of a collapse in aluminium prices. Alba's net income for the three months to March 31st was 4.2 million Bahraini dinars. This compares to the profit of 37.2 million Bahraini dinars in the same period last year. Total sales for the first quarter were down 24% at 156.5 million Bahraini dinars. However, volumes increased by 1.4% to reach 231,538 tonnes. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,112.71 points, an increase of 2.18 points above yesterday's closing level. The rise occurred in the commercial banking sector, which represented the majority 66% of total share value traded. And in total today, there were 19 transactions composed of 691,769 shares, worth 192,869 Bahraini dinars.